<laughs> so, who wants to share something with the class? A story? A song? Ooh, um, I do. Okay, Sid. Everyone, I'm having pancake problems at home. Oh, we're listening. What's the pancake problem? Well, I can't figure out how that liquidy batter stuff can turn into either a squishy goo cake or a um, burnt rock cake. I mean, why can't pancakes always be perfect and delicious, like the ones Grandma makes? Maybe the stove is broken. My toy oven broke, and my mom fixed it. Hmm. Yeah, or have you tried talking to your stove because maybe it's mad at the pancakes? Well, you're all on the right track thinking about the stove. Can anyone tell me what a stove does? Yes, it cooks things. Yeah, you can make brownies and stuff. A stove heats things up. All of you are right. Um, yeah, but what does heat have to do with pancakes? Well, that's a great question. And I know the perfect place to investigate what heat does to things. <gasps> Okay, scientists, you know where we're going. To, to the, the Super Fab Lab! That's right, so <laughs> grab your journals and let's go. Okay. okay. <laughs> In the Super Fab Lab, we're going to find out how heat changes things. And we're going to do that by making applesauce. Oh, yes! All right. <laughs> All right, splish splash applesauce. I love applesauce. <laughs> to make applesauce, we have to mash up the apples with our ingredients, water and cinnamon. Yum. Then we'll mix everything together. Mmm, this investigation sounds yummy! <laughs> First, we'll try mashing up the apples without cooking them. Then, we'll heat up the apples on a stove and try to mix them again. What happens to the apples when we heat them up? Great question, Gabriella. It's your job to observe how the heat changes the apples. I think the apples will get softer when we heat them up. I don't think the apples will change at all. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's put all these ingredients in the bowl and begin our investigation. Hooray! Yeah, let's do Come it. Come on. Wow. Oh, darn it. This is exciting. Hey, you're a scientist. You can try this too. It's time to make applesauce. First, an adult will cut up apples into small pieces and then put the apples into a bowl and add our other ingredients, cinnamon and water. Now, try to mash the apples up and mix everything together. Wow, it looks like it's not very easy to mash up the apples. Keep trying. Now, an adult is going to put the same uncooked apples in a pot and place the pot on a stove and heat it up. Let's use our eyes to observe what happens. Can you see how the heat changes the apples? Now the apples look really soft. Next, we'll pour the apples back into the bowl and you can try mashing up the apples again. Wow, it's much easier now that the apples have been heated. Now draw your observations in your journals. How did the apples look before we heated them? Think about how the apples changed after we heated them up. Now that we're done with our investigation, we can all enjoy our delicious applesauce. Hey, is this thing on? <laughs> hey, Sid, what do you 